Alright, so have you ever played a game while you were a kid, and then kind of grew up and forgot about that game? And then all of a sudden one day you think, hey, whatever happened to that game? I'd like to play that game again. And so you go searching on eBay and you don't find anything. Well, for me, that's Street Surfer. Uh, this was one of those games I remember playing uh, way back on the Commodore 64. And kind of forgot about it. And then one day thought about it. It's like, you know, I wonder if I could find a copy of the game. So I went on eBay and all I could find were like European cassette versions of the game. Which do me no good because... I have a disk drive. I don't have a tape drive for the Commodore 64 because way back in the day, that's what we had. We had the disk drive. And then all of a sudden, one day, I had a, um, well, I had a saved search uh, for it on eBay. And all of a sudden, one day, it popped up um, the two-in-one disk that I used to have with uh, Street Surfer. Now, this was disk only. Street Surfer and Hollywood or Bust, they're both on the same side. This isn't a dual-sided disk. And um, this is exactly what we had as a kid. And it was $5, buy it now, free shipping. I was like, hell yeah, that's exactly right, get, get it to me. So I got it, and it took me a long time to actually get around to playing it, because I just didn't get around to hooking up the Commodore 64 at all. So, last weekend, I was like, I gotta play this game. So, I hooked it up and recorded some footage, and that's what you're seeing right now. But, you know, like I said, this was Street Surfer and Hollywood or Bust, and I was thinking about possibly talking about Hollywood or Bust, but Hollywood or Bust sucks so much that I don't want to talk about it. Plus, the version on this disc doesn't seem to be working 100% correct. The sounds don't seem to be right. And I kind of remember Hollywood or Bust even sucking when I was a kid as well. So, I'm just going to talk about Street Surfer. So, Street Surfer is a very, very straightforward game. You're this guy on a skateboard, and he is skating or surfing, whatever. He's not really... <laughs> I don't know if he's really skating because he never moves his foot. He's kind of on this automatic driving skateboard, pretty much. Uh, and he's collecting recyclables. Now, uh, it specifically says that these are Coke bottles, okay? So he's going on the left side of the road, the right side of the road to pick up Coke bottles. And occasionally, a car will come by and offer him a Coke as well. And if you drink the Coke, you get some health back. Plus, you get uh, the bottle to recycle. And then every... Um, Every so often, you'll run across a recycling bin, and every bottle you throw into that recycling bin will increase your health. Uh, and then at the further you go along, the less health you'll get, and the harder it will be to actually pick up bottles. Now, the one thing that I always remembered from this game was the music, because the music is so catchy. Not only is the music catchy, but it can be used to determine how fast you're actually going as well because the music will speed up the faster you go and slow down as you slow down. So it's a good gauge of exactly how fast you're going. And you don't always want to be going as fast as possible because it'll be harder to pick up the bottles. So you've got to find the right speed, especially when you find a car that's offering you a Coke because you've got to be right in the zone. The bottle will start to flash and you can pick it up uh, if you get close enough. But you've got to be careful doing that because there's also a good chance that you could injure yourself by running into the car. If you kind of bump into cars and stuff, they could take away some health. If you get flat out run over by cars, you'll die. <laughs> you'll take away. You'll die, but it, it just takes away a lot of health. But yeah, there's really not much to this game at all. It's just one of those things that popped in my head. And I'm like, oh yeah, the music. That's the one thing I remember the most from this game was the music and how it sped up and slowed down. And then you've got the text at the bottom of what the people are saying. Hey, get out of the way, kid. Uh, another thing is what's weird is uh, the fact that the street isn't a two-way street. All the cars are traveling in the same direction on the street. So it must be a divided highway or something where you can't see the other side of the road. You know what? I just thought it, it kind of makes it a more of an international game because they don't have to worry about the cars driving on the right or the left side of the road. They could just take this game, I think it was made in the UK, and port it over to the US or any other country with no problem. So this isn't like Road Rash or anything, this is just collecting recyclables, very dangerously. <laughs> but despite that and how simple it is, it still is a fun game to play. And thanks everyone for watching, I'll see y'all next time.